What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with yet another G-Shock Street Spirit Series graffiti-style G-Shock watch. Today, we're taking a look at the G-Shock GM5600 SS-1. Let's get started. Let's go. YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with another Street Spirit Series G-Shock watch, the third of its kind, the GM 5600 SS-1. This one here is the model number right there, the GM 5600 SS-1. M is for metal, so it does have a metal bezel. 3229 is the module on this particular watch. Here's the box, a standard black cardboard box, nothing special. G-Shock logo on the top. Then we have the um, instruction manual and warranty card right on top there. Pretty cool. Let's open up and then show you what we're working with in terms of the tin and the actual watch. So here's the tin. Cool little pattern. There's like a splatter pattern on the top there. Very nice. Very, um, it's a, it's kind of a, a dull green fall colorway here. It's got gold, it's got gold, um, yellows, pinks, browns. Uh, very fallish, I would say, but it's nice how it looks like possibly like a rusty metal, maybe garage or something like that that was being spray painted. Um, I like how they did that. They incorporated a lot of um, real life materials and factored those in and kind of incorporated it into the watch itself. Here's the tag, GM5600SS-1, retail price of $270. You can see right there, $270 for this baby. Really nice. So let's take a look at the actual watch here, see what we got. Here we go. Okay. Zoom in. There we go. Focus. So like I said, this is the GM5600. So it's a standard 5600. Reminds me of the 5600BB, uh, which is the blackout edition. But this one does have custom limited edition band and bezel. Right there, you can see the metal bezel. And then again, you got the splatter um, colors on the blue there, the golds, the browns. And it's cool because this carries over from the bezel over to the actual display. So let's get a close up there so you guys can see that. There we go. Very nice colorway. I love how they did that. Incorporated the colors onto the bezel and it carries right onto the actual watch face. Um, the band itself has got that splatter design as, as well. That blue colors right there. You can see the golds. Looks like this pretty much just took a paintball gun and just smashed it <laughs> against this particular watch. The watch does have a um, 1983 logo right on the bottom there of the band. Oops. You can see that there. 1983 logo. Again, looks pretty cool. Looks rusty. Looks like a nice little effect on the watch. And then on the top there, you have the G-Shock Resist logo on the top of the band. Metal on this particular band keeper. Stainless steel brush metal which kind of matches the uh, stainless steel be or bezel on this watch. The back plate does not have any custom engraving other than the G-Shock Resist logo, which is standard on this particular model. 3229 GM5600SS. This one is a screw um, on the back. It doesn't have a screw back. It actually has screws on the back. And then they have the quick release for the um, bands there. Quick release on the bands. Pretty nice. In terms of mode, this has pretty standard modes. You have the standard world time, excuse me, home time with the date window on the top and the day of the week on the corner there. Then you have, if I can push the button, alarm function, timer, which also displays the time on the top corner, stopwatch, and then back to your home time. That's it, that's all, that's all you get. Then you have a nice LED light. I think it's the bottom right here. There you go. It's a little bright in the room, so it's hardly hard to see, but let me try to illuminate this again. There you go. Very clean design. Nothing crazy about this. I love the weight on it. Um, it's about 73 grams on this particular model. It wears pretty small for G-Shock, um, which is pretty standard for a 5600. Um, basic features, 20, 12 and 24 hour format on the time. It also has a EL backlight and hourly signal, which is pretty neat. Some people ask, what about that? 
Um, it has a battery, it has a two year rating, uh, but usually these batteries for these 5600 models, you don't use very often. The rating is actually two years, but you get about three to four years on actually battery life, depending on the quality of the battery, the shelf life. Some of these watches have been sitting on the shelf for some time. Um, if you use a, um, a good battery, a name brand, name brand battery on your watch, after it dies, it should last you about three to four years depending on usage. Like if you use the backlight a lot, um, if you play with it a lot, then now it limits or reduces the life of the actual watch battery. But for the most part, you're looking at some good three to four years on the battery. So there you go. This is the third of the edition. Like I said, this is a standard 5600 with the limited edition bezel and the band. Very nice nevertheless. So there you guys have it. Bring you back the next video of the G-Shock Street Spirit Series. So next time this is Chicago. Holla at your boy. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm